we go to our Bible today, you're going to want a blank piece of paper, pencil and eraser. And then when we're done with drawing our picture here on camera, you're gonna go ahead and add color to it. But right now um, you'll wanna draw with pencil. I'm gonna be drawing with a marker so that you can see it better, but then I'm not gonna be able to erase it and fix it if I want to. So it's great to draw with pencil. And then that way, if you wanna make some changes before you actually color it and make it permanent, you can. So pencil eraser, paper, and then you'll need crayons after we're done with the video. So we're gonna be starting with it like this. This over on this side, it's kind of hard to see because I can't get my camera up quite far enough, but <clears throat> I have it folded so that I have, it's not folded down the long way, it's folded the short way. <clears throat> Excuse me, so over here on this side now, I'm gonna be working on <clears throat> the first part of the picture. And we're gonna be drawing about when Jesus was in the garden at night. And so we're gonna put up here a little moon and a star to show that it was nighttime. And then we're gonna draw kind of a sad or confused face because you know, this time in the garden was not a great time. Jesus was really sad and then his disciples were scared when he was arrested and taken away. So that's what we're putting there for the time in the garden. And then we're gonna put a line to show that underneath here now is gonna be the next part of the story. So the next part of the story is kind of a funny one because, you know, it wasn't dark, nighttime, scary looking. Outside probably looked just fine and normal. You know, sun in the sky, regular old day, maybe some birds chirping, maybe a little breeze, but it, Jesus was crucified. You guys might remember it. He was, they put the crosses up on a hill. They wanted everybody to be able to see it. And there was his cross there. Now, if you guys want to add more details, if you want to put the two other crosses, or you want to try to put Jesus on the cross, or a Roman soldier, or Mary, Jesus' mother, and John the disciple, you can do that but this is all that you really have to do for that picture. So then the next part here, we're gonna start by drawing this again. And I, I didn't explain this actually very well. Do you see how that looks like an upside down U? We're gonna be doing a lot of U's here. So the next thing we're gonna do now, <clears throat> we're gonna put another sunshine because it's still daytime on this same day. Here I'm putting my upside down U again and my cross. But now, do you remember when Jesus died, it got really, or when Jesus was up on the cross, it got really dark. And then there was that big earthquake when he died. So we're gonna add in a little bit here, first to show the earthquake. Do you see my up and down lines here that are showing an earthquake? And I'm gonna go back and forth a lot with this because they said it was a pretty big earthquake. So there's my earthquake. And then remember it also got dark. So I'm gonna do my darkness back and forth this way. So there it is now that Jesus has died. And remember he died and the guards double checked to make sure that he actually was dead. And then they told the disciples, yes, you can take Jesus. So now we're gonna draw one of the ones where you're really gonna to wanna to keep track of your U's. So we're going to put an upside down U right here. And then we're gonna imagine there's kind of an upside down U behind it. And so this part of the U doesn't show up. We're gonna start it right here and make an upside down U like this with a circle right here. This circle is that stone that they rolled in front of the opening. And then do you remember, they didn't actually take care of Jesus' body that night because it was Friday and it was getting to be Sabbath. The sun was going down. And so because the sun was going down, they, they wanted to be home for sundown. They didn't wanna be doing work on Sabbath. And so they just left his body there to go home and get ready. And so, we're gonna make it look like it's just starting to get, this looks a little bit like rain, doesn't it? That's because of the type of marker I have. But 
uh, you can use your crayon or a pencil to make it look like it's it's not really dark night, but it's starting to be a little bit gray nighttime. All right, now the next part we're going to be doing Easter morning. We're going to do that upside down U again. And then here we're going to do that other upside down U that kind of goes behind so we don't see part of it. And then right here, I'm going to draw the sun starting to come up. Do you see here I have an upside down U kind of in that connection part where this one comes to this one? I put another curve right up there. And then put my little lines out to show that that's the sun. Now remember what happened on Easter morning as the sun was coming up is that the angel came and called him out of the tomb. So we're going to draw that stone again, but we're going to have the stone over here. Because it got rolled away from the opening of the tomb. And here we're going to put the opening, but to show that that opening goes back into a cave, we're going to draw it in dark like this to show that it goes back into a dark cave, not necessarily like a scary dark cave. But caves are dark, you know, now now we have electric lights and flashlights and things inside caves, but it's not natural for caves to have lots of light. It's natural for caves to be really dark. So you guys might have seen in some of the videos that Peter and John went to the tomb and some of the women went to the tomb. And they got there. And they saw that it was empty and they said, oh, my goodness, what happened? Well, to answer that question, you know, God, when we're really asking questions, sometimes God lets us keep thinking about it for a while, but he does want to lead us to answers. So here's the way he was leading them to answers. We're going to draw more shapes here. <laughs> there are two kind of long, tall triangles. Can you see that? <clears throat> Excuse me. We're going to put two legs coming out of the bottom of each triangle. We're going to give them heads. And then you guys might remember, now we're going to do kind of an upside down triangle sticking out from that side to make a wing. Do you see how that kind of makes a triangle there? Here's another triangle. And then we'll do two triangles on this one to give it wings. So there's a triangle. And there are the triangle wings for our angels. The angels came to tell them Jesus isn't here. He rose from the dead like he said he would. Now you guys have the advantage if you're working with pencil. Do you see my, my triangle here has an extra little piece coming down? You could erase that. I can't erase it because of my marker. That's all right. Now down here, we're going to be drawing how they were probably feeling about it. And this can be a little tricky. I don't have a pencil to make mine turn out just right. So we're just going to do the best we can. So we're going to start over here with kind of like a question mark looking thing. And then we're going to try to draw a sort of mirrored question mark on the other side. Do you see that? <clears throat> Excuse me. And then we're going to connect kind of these, the tops of the question marks with an upside down U. And then we're going to make another upside down U even bigger on top of that. Then we're going to do a right side up U right here. And we're going to put a line down this way and a line down this way. Do you see how we're starting to have a face <clears throat> right in here? Put an upside down U and a, another upside down U that's not quite as big. Put a sort of wide flat upside down U here for the nose. We can put some eyes in here. Do you remember those women and Peter and John? They found out that Jesus was alive and they were excited and happy about that. So we're going to draw these shining lines out here to show how excited and happy they were. You know that Jesus was alive. And of course, when you're excited and happy, you're going to talk, right? So we're going to draw 
this if you can. There we go, to make a speech bubble. And then you can write the words or you can just put a, a big smiley face to show that they were talking about really happy things. So if you can, you can write he's, first graders in Lily, do you see it's a contraction with the apostrophe for he is, he's alive. And this is most definitely an exclamation point spot. Now, boys and girls, you have made a little book. So now you have this book here with the story. You can take this and glue it into your encounter journal. So it's right there with all of your other Bible things for the year. So open up your encounter journal to the next empty page, glue it on there. If you wanna make a cover for your book, you could. You could make the story of Easter and just take your best guess on how to spell those words. You could put just a big smiley face on here because this is really the happiest news ever in the history of the entire world. So boys and girls, there is your Bible work for today. Just to get your story done, you can add colors to it if you want to, put it into your encounter journal, and then this is where you can ask your parents for help if you need to, to take a picture of your work and send it to me.